This lesson is on proportions. By the end of this video, you'll be able to solve a proportion in a lot of different forms. The way that you solve a proportion is a process called cross multiplying. You're gonna use a distributive property twice and then you're gonna set each of them equal to each other and solve. So we're gonna start simple and then of course get a little bit harder. What we're gonna do first is I always look for the variable before I solve. If there's two, then you can't use this method, but I'm gonna find it here and I'm gonna multiply, cross multiply these two first. So I'll have 55 times N giving us 55N, which is equal to 440. Okay, now is where I use opposite operations to solve for my unknown. Um, so 55 is being multiplied by N, opposite of that would be to divide by 55. And our answer would be eight. Okay, this one, we have a little different situation. We have two components in our expression. Um, so therefore, I'm going to have to distribute my seven to both. I find the variable, which in this case is on the top left. So we're gonna multiply our seven by X plus six first, and then 21 times four, which gives me 84. Now I'm gonna use the distributive property here. Seven times X gives me seven X. Seven times six gives me 42, which is equal to 84. Now we're gonna use opposite operations again to solve for our unknown. We start the furthest away, which would be here. The opposite of adding 42 would be to subtract 42. And then to undo the seven X, which has a multiplication, um, you just can't see it, we divide by seven. I want you to pause the video and try this one on your own. Okay, so we are going to, in this case, it doesn't matter where we start because we have a variable on this one and we have a variable on this one. So I'm just gonna start on the top. We have five X times nine, which is 45 X is equal to my other one, which has a variable as well. We're gonna put on the other side. So because I have a binomial here, I need to make sure that I distribute that 30 to both. So I have X plus one, then I'm gonna distribute my 30 by. Okay, so um, we are going to multiply 30 times X, giving us 30 X, 30 times one, 30, and then I'm just gonna bring down my 45 X. Okay, so you use the distributive property here, make sure that you use it on both terms. Um, this is a little bit simpler, uh, so we just brought it down. Now, I have variables on both sides, so I always make a habit of moving the variables to the left, constants to the right. Um, so in this case, in order to move this positive 30x, I'm gonna have to subtract it leaving me 15X is equal to 30. And the final operation that I'm gonna to use to undo that 15X would be to divide by 15. That concludes our lesson on solving proportions.